Hello, today, I will show you how to create a workflow using Bitflows. Bitflows is an advanced automation plugin for WordPress that helps you create complex workflows and integrate various apps. I have already installed the Bitflows plugin on our site. First, open your Bitflows dashboard. Then, navigate to the Flows section. If you don't have Create Any Flow, simply click on the Create Flow button to create a new flow. After clicking the Create Flow button, a pop-up will appear. In this pop-up, enter a name for your flow. Then click on the Create button. Congratulations! You have successfully created a new flow. Your newly created flow will now be displayed like this. Now, you will need to select a trigger. Under the Trigger section, click on the plus icon. Then a pop-up will appear where you can choose your preferred trigger. You can also use the search bar to find your desired trigger quickly. Now choose WordPress on Post Status Update as your trigger. Then choose your preferred post types from the drop-down options based on your requirements. You can also select multiple post types if needed. Next, specify the posts from the drop-down menu that you would like to use. Now click on the Listen Response button, then go to the WordPress Post section and edit the post that you selected. Now update the status of the BitFlows post from Draft to Publish. Then click on the Publish button. After publishing your post, return to the BitFlows section, where you will see that your post publishing data has been successfully captured and recorded. Then close the Trigger tab. Congratulations! You have successfully added a WordPress on Post Status Update trigger into your flow. Next, you will need to add an action in the BitFlow section to specify where you want to send your submitted data. Under the App section, you will see different types of platforms where you can send your data. You can either drag and drop them into the builder, or simply click the plus icon to add your desired action from the drop-down options. Now choose Google Sheets as an action. Then select a Google Sheets connection from the drop-down menu. If you don't have an existing connection or want to create a new one, simply click on the Add button. Here, write a name for your connection. Then provide the client ID and client secret to connect with Google Sheets. To get your client ID and client secret, you need to go to your Google Cloud Console. Now click on the three-dot icon. Then select APIs and Services. Now search for Google Drive API. Then click the Enable button to activate your Google Drive API. Next, search for Google Sheets API. Click on the Enable button. After enabling both APIs, go to the OAuth Consent screen section. Here, I have already created an app. If you have not created any app yet, please do so first. Here, input your app name, provide your support email and developer contact information. Then click on the Save and Continue button. In the Scope section, click on the Add or Remove Scopes button and select the necessary scopes required for your configuration. Now I am navigating to the BitFlow official documentation, which link can be found in the description below. Then click on the Update button. Next, click the Save and Continue button. Now publish your app and confirm the action. Your app has been successfully created. Now go to the Credentials section. Now click on the Create Credentials option and select OAuth Client ID. Here select your application type and assign your app name. Under Authorized JavaScript Origins section, provide your homepage URL. Now go back to the BitFlow section, then copy the redirect URL and paste it into the Authorized Redirect URI section. Then click on the Create button. Your client ID and client secret will be generated. 
Now copy the client ID. Then get back to the integration settings and paste it into the client ID field. Copy the client secret and paste it into the client secret field. Then click on the connect button. Now choose your Google account. Congratulations! Your Google Console app has been successfully connected with BitFlows. Now select a spreadsheet from the drop-down menu. Then choose a worksheet from the drop-down option. Next, map the respective fields. After completing all the setup, close the action tab. Now click on the test flow once button to run a test. Then go to the WordPress post tab and change the post status from publish to draft. Now go back to the BitFlow section. Then click on the logs button to view the details. In the log section, you can verify that your sending data has been successfully captured and recorded. Now go to your Google Sheets. Here, you can see that your sending data has been successfully added to the Google Sheets. That's all for this tutorial. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.